So, I wanted to talk briefly today about the bullshit uh, Ukrainian uh, Russian propaganda list. And I-, I guess what I'll start off with is the fact that the the list has a really shit ass name um and i i'll start by going over what that name is um so this list is a list that they put together that's basically putting targets on anyone who doesn't uh completely comport with their narrative um and <laughs> the the list um it's 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 absurd the the whole concept of this list is to sort of fearmonger people into compliance like you wouldn't want to end up on a list of russian sympathizers would you um because they're not proving any sort of substance substantive support they're they're not proving anything other than these people said some stuff we don't like. Um, and I, I, I did some work with my handy-dandy little translator uh, app be, because <laughs> it's all in Ukrainian. It's not text-based because it's real propaganda. It's images that they want you to copy and paste uncritically. They don't want you to translate the web page uh, and find out that it's a bunch of repeated stuff. And they don't want you to find out uh, how many, like, lies they're telling very easily. So here is is what they, what they call it, right? So they call it... Um, Speakers who promote narratives consonant with Russian propaganda. Yeah. Consonant. That's all you have to be. uh, Is allegedly consonant. Meaning in accord with. You know? Like, you don't have to be an actual paid propagandist. You don't have to have gotten a red cent from the Red Army. You don't have to do anything in that regard. You can just be consonant. We think you're too much like these people. So we're going to put you on a big scary list. That's what it is. Like, and and they don't want this list to be easy to translate. They just want their own people, you know, Ukrainians to see this list, share the social media posts, and, um, you know, accept the convenient narrative. Um, it, it, it shouldn't take translating an image to look at a government database, but it does because they don't want it to be easy for us Westerners to get access to this information. Um, so I had to hold my fucking phone camera over the, um, over the, uh, images with like translate open. And, uh, yeah, uh, I got some interesting information. So before any of that, I'm just gonna put this back on the screen for y'all so that I can scroll and y'all can, uh, see the full list. If anybody here reads Ukrainian, you can see, um, speed this up a little, the, like, overwhelming repetition of the points that people are thinking. And it's just like one or two is all it takes. Like, they can say one or two points and be included. That's all it takes is one or two. Like, the the whole, like, compendium of somebody's career, the reasons that they said the thing, that's not relevant. What's relevant is that they said one or two things that the Ukrainian government didn't like, so they got put on this propaganda list. Um, 
which is very ironically it just propaganda it's just propaganda and the reason i can say that with confidence is i went over some of the uh the key figures that i recognize so let me let me read you some of these translations um tulsi gabbard said that there were u.s funded bio labs with deadly pathogens in ukraine and that the west provoked putin I'll just keep reading. Jeffrey Sachs uh, says the U.S. is partially to blame for the Ukraine situation and that the sanctions should be removed. Rand Paul said that the U.S. should not help Ukraine, that the Donbass is full of Russian sympathizers anyway, that Ukraine shouldn't be in NATO. Steve Hanke, Hanke, Hank, I I've never understood how to pronounce that name and I don't care said that sanctions against Russia are not working. That's all he had to say to be put on this list, is that they're not working. Well, they aren't. The ruble took a dive for a bit until, you know, the uh, the musical magical power of bricks activated. And, and Russia's fine. And the U.S. is literally removing these sanctions that didn't work. Because the only thing they did is harm the West and its globalism efforts. And everybody was mourning the death of globalism. This was in the press. This 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 should be something people remember. But I guess you can't say that the... You can't repeat what the Ukraine-friendly press was saying. Because that would be saying that the sanctions don't work and you would be on the same page as Hank. Hanky? Hank. Hanke? I, I don't fucking... Glenn Greenwald. The U.S. should stop provoking war with a nuclear power. Yeah! What? Okay. Why is that a problem? It's true. There are U.S. biolabs in Ukraine. You'll notice a theme. Kim.com uh, was on there, too. Because a tech billionaire is, is somehow... <laughs> is somehow on the same level as, like, Tulsi Gabbard in these people's minds. NATO provoked Russia and Ukraine will collapse. Ukraine will collapse is Russian propaganda... I think the U.S. will collapse. I think this whole thing will collapse because it's an inherently unstable house of cards built on debt. This is all going to collapse. Does saying that mean I work for Putin? No! It means I have a working brain between my fucking skull plates, dude. Like, what the fuck is this? And, and so, you know, you look at this list and it's like that stuff repeatedly. You know, maybe NATO shouldn't be involved in this. Maybe the U.S. shouldn't be involved in this. Maybe the sanctions uh, didn't work and just emboldened Russia to isolate economically. Maybe that's why people are concerned about food shortages. Maybe that's why Biden can blame his own personal presidential failings on a Putin price hike? Maybe this is fucking valid! Maybe. And maybe people should shut the fuck up until they're willing to look into these things. And then, like, a really strong running theme between these these claims of, you know, co consonance with Russian propaganda include U.S.-funded biolabs... Okay, I guess we're doing this again, where I'll just bring up this U.S. Department of Fucking Defense uh, post, where the U.S. Department of Fucking Defense released a, a, a goddamn really long fucking thing. And this, this goddamn really long fucking thing that they released uh, eventually ends up 
with uh <laughs> with 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 discussions of Ukraine and <laughs> and the biological uh labs the bio labs so like okay uh new, no nuclear weapons program right um and th like soviet union uh like thing here and then if you'll notice you scroll down a bit and it says that the u.s um has also worked collaboratively to improve their biological safety security and disease surveillance for both human and animal health providing support to 46 peaceful ukrainian laboratories health facilities and disease diagnostic sites over the last two decades the U.S. government says it! Are you going to list them too? No. Because you still want U.S. government money. You still want U.S. government uh, support. You want the U.S. government to support your fucking um, Iron Dome that you want built. I went over that in another video. This isn't propaganda. It's just true. But there are a bunch of people who will look at that list and who are looking at that list, by the way, on, on Twitter and saying, Yeah, I always knew Glenn Greenwald, Rand Paul, and Tulsi Gabbard were Russian disinformation agents. Now that Ukraine has put them in a list, that's all I needed. I don't need any facts. I don't need any actual verifiable ties to the Kremlin or any, like, proof. I just need the Ukraine government to say words to me, and I will belt them out like fucking shit. Just, like, drool the fucking... Uh, Ukraine gave me a narrative, so I'll fucking be a stenographer for their government. That's what a lot of people on Twitter are. That's what a lot of people in like who just repeat the social media editorial narratives are they just do that and they don't care about facts they don't care about reality they just care that you know we're dealing with like this massive like money making operation and you know they want their money they want their cut and they don't care about the people on the ground. The people on the ground in Ukraine are critically underfunded, critically understaffed, um, and they, they, they regularly get sent, sent to the front lines without, like, proper equipment or training or anything. That's what they get. So when that's the case, when this is the way things are, what you end up with is a transparent attempt to control narratives. And that's all. Um, and the, the Ukrainian government, like, they don't care about their people, and neither do the West. The West wants their puppet government. The West wants their Great Reset experiment with AI government and a bunch of shit like that. That's what the West wants. So the question is whether or not you're going to accept that anybody added to this list, because uh, this list is not, you know, going to end here, that anyone added to this list is somehow just Russian propaganda, and anybody who agrees with anyone on this list is just parroting Russian propaganda, or whether or not you can think for yourself. Because if you can think for yourself... It's going to take a lot more fucking work than just believing the Ukrainian government. They will just lie. They have those bio labs. That shouldn't be on a list about comporting with Russian propaganda unless they want you to ignore admitted U.S. government fact in favor of their particular supremacy or narrative. So the question is, are you going to think for yourself, or are you going to let a blue and yellow flag think for you? Just a little bit of something to think about.
while you smash the state.